everyone, and good morning, Miramar. I'm Tamika Bickham, Senior Communications Manager for the City of Miramar. Today is Wednesday, June 27th, and it's 10.05 in the morning. The high for today is expected to be about 90 degrees, but just like that usual South Florida weather, there's an 80% chance for strong thunderstorms this afternoon, so you're going to want to go ahead and keep those umbrellas handy. The Miramar, available right now, the City of Miramar's 2017 Water Quality Report is now online. This annual report is required by law and contains important information about the source and quality of your drinking water. You can view this report online at miramarfl.gov. If you prefer a copy mailed to you, you can call that number. It's right there on your screen, 954-602-4357. This Friday, it's at 8 o'clock, Caribbean Comedy Night. It's hosted by Maja Hype, who's also known as the Caribbean King of Comedy. You're not going to want to miss this one. Comedians Rohan Gunter, Nikki Crosby, and Chris Johnny Daly are also performing during this, <coughs> excuse me, this hilarious evening, which caps off Caribbean American Heritage Month in Miramar. The show is this Friday, June 29th at 8 o'clock at the Miramar Cultural Center. Tickets are still available, so you're going to want to go over to miramarculturalcenter.org and get those right away. They start at $35. Now, the next morning... We'll see you back on Saturday, June 30th which, to join Commissioners Maxwell Chambers and Darlene Riggs at the Miramar Family Picnic at River Run Park. The event will have free food, music, dominoes, and plenty of family-friendly fun. For more information about this event, you can call 954-225-4784 or call 954-839-4168. Do you still need 4th of July plans? Well, look no further. The city of Miramar has you covered with an Independence Day celebration. That's going to be at Miramar Regional Park next Wednesday, July 4th. The park will open at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The event begins at 7 with a DJ, kids zone, food trucks, and fireworks. Now keep in mind there will be no entry into the park after 8.30 in the evening. So if you want a good seat for the fireworks show, make sure to come early. We'll see you there. Now July is Parks and Recreation Month. And we have several ways for you to get out and get involved. Here's one way. It's called Workout Wednesdays. I like this one. You will receive free admission every Wednesday during the month of July to all of the Miramar Fitness Centers, which include Sunset Lakes Community Center, Anson Sports Complex, and the Vernon E. Hargrey Youth Enrichment Center. Now, when you stop in, make sure to take advantage of some of the specials that we're running this month for memberships or in the month of July, which will, you'll receive a $10 off a 30-day membership or $50 off a yearly membership. But again, you have to purchase that in the month of July. Now you all know the show, The Amazing Race. Well, Miramar takes on its own version with the Miramar Marvelous Race. That's on July 7th. Your team of two or three competitors will begin this race at Sunset, Sunset Lakes Community Center and complete tasks at each recreational location before moving on to the next. Now, if you win, you are eligible for prizes valued up to $1,500. You are not going to want to miss the opportunity for that one. Join Miramar Mayor Wayne Messam for a conversation at La Careta in Miramar on July 12th at 10.30 in the morning. He hosts conversations in the community to inform residents about what's happening in the city of Miramar, address any important issues, and also answer any questions you may have. For more information about this event, you can call that number right there. It's on your screen, 954-602-3198. Now, Symphony of the Americas Summerfest is back this summer at the Miramar Cultural Center on July 14th at 7.30 p.m. This is the Chamber Orchestra's 27th season of their summer series. And the best part, it's free. So visit miramarculturalcenter.org to reserve your tickets for that free event. Goal! <laughs> I said it, the World Cup final. You're gonna wanna watch that one with us. This free family-friendly watch party is happening July 15th at 11 a.m. That's when the final match is at the Anson Sports Complex. But our watch party, is different from all the rest you're going to hear about in the coming weeks. You won't only watch soccer, but bring the kids out early at 9.30 in the morning to play soccer in a free soccer clinic just before the start of the match. Now, that's all for our Miramar news. Coming up, we're going to take a break right now, but right after that break, on the other side, we're going to be joined by a very special guest this morning. His name is Jimmy Gary. He's a Florida native. He is former NFL star <laughs> turned TV star now in the hit Netflix show, Orange is the New Black. See you in a few minutes.
Miramar Cultural Center presents Caribbean Comedy Night, June 29th at 8 p.m., featuring performances by Nikki Crosby, Chris Johnny Daly, and Rohan Gunter. Hosted by the Caribbean King of Comedy, Major Hype. Laugh till you drop. For tickets, call 954-602-4500. Welcome back to Good Morning Miramar. I'm Tamika Bickham. I'm joined now by Jimmy Gary. He is the uh, on the hit show, Netflix show, Orange is the New Black. Yeah. He's a, a Florida native as well. So we want you to engage with us during this interview right now. So go on over, <laughs> look for the city of Miramar on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Comment there, comment on Facebook Live with a question. You can also go ahead and actually call in if you have a question for Jimmy Gary. Okay. <laughs> the number is one eight seven seven two 2 Miramar. It's right there on your screen, one 264 7262 Jimmy Gary, hey. welcome. First time in Miramar. Yes, indeed. How do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I love the heat, period, you know. I was going to ask you, so before we jump into Orange is the New Black, mm -hmm. you're from Florida. Yes. You're, you've been in town for about a week a now. A week, yeah. What brings you back? Well, uh, family and... Uh, interviews you know <laughs> <laughs> doing your your press circuit talking yes, about your career which is a very interesting one from what i understand you're mm -hmm. from florida yes. played high school football mm -hmm. college football yes. to the nfl with yes. the seattle seahawks yes, indeed. tell me about your journey from nfl how you, how you how what that experience was like transitioning into tv and acting uh it, it it's a challenging transition but they're similar in ways um you know, football is a sport, and acting, uh, you have your cast, which is a team. Right. You know, and, um, you know, in football, one person can't win by himself. And in acting, it takes a group of people to come together in order to give a great performance. My transition actually uh, happened when I was six or seven. That's when I did my first play. Really? And I fell in love with the acting. You know, the, I was bitten by the bug. I played Baby Jesus. Okay. <laughs> and so it was, it, and that was like a seed planted in me for a while. And, um, but I was really good at football. Right. And football paid for my education. And so everyone has a backup plan for the NFL. You right. know, if you don't make it. Right. I was, you know, blessed to actually, you know, wear an NFL uniform. But that passion for acting was always in me. And I just, I went back to West Virginia University, got my BFA in acting after football and went to New York. Really? Yeah. So now were you acting or were you in plays when you were in um, playing in, in high school when you were playing football at the same uh, time? No, in high school I no, wasn't. No. I was too okay. afraid. To I was going to say, I would be curious to hear what oh, man. <laughs> your teammates you know, would say. Exactly. So <laughs> I kind of just kept it to myself. Okay. Um, but in college I did musical theater. Okay. Yeah, I did a lot of musical theater. So do I. So we have that in common. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. I, I, I love the theater, so I understand. Oh, cool. That. Yeah. Well, and actually in New York, we just finished a, a soldier's play. Mm -hmm. And my goal is in November to be doing it here in Miami. 
and um, I'm down here also for that. Uh, I have a, I have the play, uh, the package, play package, mm -hmm. uh, Soldiers Play with the original cast um, right. out of New York. Um, recently, we we did it in December and in February. Great reviews. Um, one of the other actors, Gil Tucker, is actually from Miami, so. Um, you know, it's just perfect. Florida connection. You, know you can it. find it anywhere. Yes, indeed. So Orange is the New Black. Tell me about how you got involved in, in that show. It's really popular. Three seasons you've been on it now. Yes, yes. You know, I was working as a trainer. Okay. And, um, you know, at my agent like called me. a personal me. trainer. Yeah, personal okay. trainer. And so my agent called me and was like, okay, you have an audition. I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, it's Orange is the New Black. I knew about the show. It was in its just completed its second season fairly new but right. great reviews right. i mean it was doing wonderful and i went in and i i saw all these guys there auditioning for the same part so i'm like okay Jeez. i went in and i did my little um piece and uh the casting director was like okay great mm -hmm. that was great and you know as an actor right if a casting director says okay can you do it again this way right you kind of feel like they like you a little bit right so i just left feeling like oh man i don't think i did too well it felt good but right. you know but i guess i did well i got the part and uh, tell me about that call my agent called me <laughs> and he was like guess what i'm like what he was like you got the part i'm like what part you know because i auditioned <laughs> a lot i'm like what part right. they're like orange is new black i just dropped the phone i dropped the phone for you know i took it all in and um and the rest is history, you know. How has your life been different since you've started on that show? Uh, it's, it's, it's very different, you know, walking the streets in New York, going to places. Uh, you can't go from point A to point B without talking to probably five or six people. So everyone wants to stop you, ask you about the show. They want to meet you, you know, meet mm -hmm. me. And, and it's a wonderful feeling. I kind of had that same feeling with football. You know, that's why I got into acting because there's okay. a certain energy in football that um, if you're not an athlete playing on that level, you won't feel it. Right. And in acting, you, you you get a chance to feel that that energy. You know, running out of that stadium, seventy thousand people screaming for you. You know, um, and in acting on stage, you got an audience that's on every word. You know, right. you're, they're on every emotion. And on in TV and film, you know, it's the same thing. You know, you have a much broader audience right. watching you. And so it's it's uh, it was similar and in ways I would say it uh, in ways you probably didn't expect. Too. Oh no no right. no no doubt about it. You know there's a joy right. um, when you're doing what you love to do, and right. it's challenging but it's not hard. You know. Um, if you had to pick, yeah, acting or football. Acting. Yeah. Yeah. Less injuries. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> less injuries. Of course, I did right. a play once and like right. scratch my head once, but right. that's basically it. Just a little scratch compared to a you know broken ankle. And <laughs> <laughs> I hear. You. So what's next for you? I think I read something about some future films you're you're mm -hmm. working on that mm -hmm. will be filmed in Okeechobee, where you're from. Well, in Florida. In period. Florida. Yeah, okay. I have three projects. Uh, okay. Two feature film called Hard Knocks, which deals with the justice system and juveniles, which is what we need now. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a, another TV series called Pirates of Muskrat Cove based on my Pee Wee football career. Okay. Um, and Soldiers Play, uh, that's the play that I want to do down here in Miami. So those are three projects. No one in Florida has ever seen me p perform live. Like my family Your has family. never seen me. family. Yes, I have a huge family. And they've never seen me perform, yeah. so you and, know. and that's nice when you, you get to, you know, bring your talents back home. Oh, that's the greatest feeling in and the world. And your friends and your family get to experience them yeah. with you. Yeah, but I don't know, my grandmother's 92, right? Okay. So she's, she's watched some of my, Orange is New Black, it was one, I think season three, Caputo was twisting my arm when we first went in, you know, the new recruits. He was okay. demonstrating self-defense and he was twisting my arm and my grandma was like, why did you let that guy do you like that? Why did you let, I said, grandma, this acting. <laughs> <laughs> There's a script, it's acting. But it's all fun and games, you know. Um, with her, she she raised me. You know, my grandmother's my everything. You know, that's part of my drive. So for me to do soldiers play here in Florida, and for her to see me act, you know, to see me on stage, right. that would be a huge blessing. You know. So. Absolutely. Tell everyone, Orange is the New Black. How can people watch it? On Netflix. <laughs>
It's going to be released in July. So the next season, the next season, season Two. six. So there's a whole new world. That's all I have to say. Can you give us any insight? <laughs> all I know is brace yourself because there, it's a whole new world. Things has changed a lot. And are you active on social? Tell people how they can follow you, engage with you, yes, get to know you indeed. a little bit better. Uh, my Instagram handle, Jimmy Gary Jr. Facebook, Jimmy Gary Jr. And Twitter, Jimmy Gary Jr. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy Gary. Yes. Appreciate you coming out, being here. Congratulations on all your success and amazing career that you've had. And good to see you. Florida boys. Florida boys in the Re house. <laughs> Give a shout out to Omega Sci Fi, my frat. Woo woo. Appreciate you coming on right. this show. Thank you for joining us this morning on Good Morning Miramar. Uh, again, we want to remind you about events coming up this Friday, Caribbean Comedy Night at 8 o'clock at the Miramar Cultural Center. That's hosted by Major Hype, the Caribbean King of Comedy. Don't miss it. Tickets still available and start at $35. And next Wednesday, it's the City of Miramar's Independence Day celebration. You're not going to want to miss that one. All right. Uh, jo again, don't forget to, to follow us on City of Miramar's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we'll see you back next time. Thanks for joining us. Peace.